What is up guys? So this is my nose tutorial how you can use nose. Nodes pretty much pass along signals. Let's go ahead and show you what a signal is. We're going to show you what a signal is by pretty much putting this on remote and then uh, opening this up. Now as I move left and right, it's sending a signal from the control sensor because the control sensor is on. I move left and right and it sends it to that. So that's what a signal is. But it can also send specific types of signals, like it knows that this right here is me moving left and right. Connecting this to a fat wire, you can actually make cool things like left and right movements on a snapped position, if that makes sense. So what I mean is the fat wire can tell whenever you're using the sticks. This is the stick settings. The fat wire, this, I mean, yeah, the fat wire is the splitter and the combiner. So the, uh, the, the, the gadgets or the combiner and the splitter, that's what a fat wire pretty much is in, com in combination. So this is what I mean whenever I say fat wire, splitter and combiner. And then the combiner pretty much is the left and right sticks. Uh, you can set the fat wire type right here within the combiner. And then with a node, you can pass the signal along through a microchip. So the node is pretty much creating an opening within the microchip, an opening within the microchip. You can also change the icons. So whenever you close out of the microchip and you have the node on, you don't have to memorize anything because it shows controller right there. So it's passing the sensor or it's passing the signal of me pressing left and right to the node. It can pass pretty much, it can pass colors along too. Like there's a lot of things it can pass along. Um, and then it's sending it to the splitter. The splitter is sending it to the combiner. The combiner is pretty much saying what to do with it. Sticks, so we're doing left and right movements. And then there's an out port. So you can change the, out, the type of the node. Do you want it to just pass through in port or do you want it to send somewhere else out port? The reason that's important to have an out port is because then it works like this right here. So this is an import right here, and this is an out port. And Logic, uh, yeah, Logic and Gadgets usually have that preset, but a microchip won't have that preset unless you add nodes to it. So it can pass the signal in and out, in and out, and you have to put the type of node that it is. And then you can also put this right here as uh, input wire. Usually I don't do that. So you can do that also. But what's the out port for? So this is gaining, getting, this is sending out. So that means that something can receive. So this is actually receiving from the microchip to tell your puppet to walk, to tell your puppet to walk. That's what the output is for. So it can connect to things on the left side. The import is to connect to things on the right side, on the right. So that's how all of that will work with a node. And then it's just passing along a signal. It can also pass along colors. It can pass along other things also. Using this, you can create complex logic for your stuff, as well as keep your things organized. That is what all this is for. Instead of using multiple nodes, which you can use multiple nodes, you can also just use an exclusive gate. It's pretty much a, a giant node. That's pretty much what it is. And that's how you can do everything if you want to, or you can just use the nodes. You can just use the nodes. You know, you can just use the nodes. <laughs> but that's pretty much it that's pretty much it i like using the nodes they're cool um it really keeps the, everything organized and if you are making assets for other people or elements then you want them to know where to put things and a great way to actually know where help people know how to use your microchips is to use nodes with the proper labels and also use the value slider. As you can see here, the value slider can change the value of everything. An exclusive gate combined with all this can also help with that also. So that's what all this is for. That's what nodes is for. I put it in the organization category. In the organization category of 
creating logic and passing signals through and the signal can only be passed through when things are powered on it can only be received when things are obviously powered on so outport can only send it to a receiving thing whenever it's powered on or there's not a not gate that's powered on at the bottom or however you want to get your logic set up so this is how you do all this this is how nodes work don't forget to subscribe check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials you'll mainly be using nodes for microchips fat wires combiners and splitters and you can use it for, for probably other things just you know get creative Thanks for watching guys and peace out. Check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. And I am out of breath. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Um, I have a really, really bad freaking cold, but I know this tutorial is so lit that it don't even matter. <laughs>